Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be using column method to add three digit numbers. Now we are going to be regrouping again so that means we are going to be moving some ones over into the tens column because we'll have too many ones and we might have to move some tens into the hundreds column because we have too many tens. Okay don't worry I will talk you through all the steps but I would like you to try and use column method today rather than counters. Okay, like we did yesterday with the expanded method, we used counters or we used partitioning. I would like you to try and just use your um, column method today. Okay, so let's make a start. The same steps we have used all week, we are going to be using today. So step one, um, we are gonna be adding three digits and ones using column method with regrouping. We're going to be adding three digits and tens using column method and we will be regrouping. And then step three, you're going to have some three digit numbers and two digit numbers, which you need to write some word problems for before you solve them. So you need to write the word problem and then you need to solve it using column method. OK, so we have some steps to success. So we have three steps that will help us with our calculations today. Step one. We need to make sure that we are writing our digits in the correct place value column. So that means we have all our hundreds underneath each other, all our tens underneath each other, and all our ones in the correct column. Step two, we then need to add our digits in each place value column. So we'll add all our ones up together to see how many we have. We'll add all our tens up together, and we will add all our hundreds together. Then we will be totaling our answers. So we need to make sure that we add all our ones and our tens and our hundreds together to give us our total answer. Because we don't just leave answers in tens, hundreds and ones, we combine them all together to make one number. Okay, so step one. Step one, my number sentence is 387 add four. I'm not going to partition into 380 and 7. I'm just going to use my place value columns to write my digits in the correct place value. So I have 3 in my hundreds column, 8 in my tens column, and 7 in my ones column. I then am only adding 4. So 4 is a ones number, so it's going to go under my 7 in my ones column. Okay, so my first step for this is to write my digits in the correct place value column. I've done that, I've done step one. Step two, add the digits in each place value column. So I'm going to write this down next to where I'm gonna be adding so I know what I'm going to be doing. So my first one is we always start with our ones. I'm gonna do seven, add four. So seven, add four. Okay, so seven, add four, I know gives me 11. Okay, so 11 is made up of 10 and one, so my 10 has to go in the tens column. Okay, seven plus four equals 11. Okay, so I've done my ones. I now need to do my tens. So I've only got one 10 there, which is 80. Don't have any tens there. So my number sentence for that one is going to be 80 plus zero. I have no other tens to add. So 80 add zero is going to be 80. Okay, so I need to make sure that I'm writing my digits in the correct place value. So 80. Okay. Then I'm going to look at my hundreds. I only have 300. I have no other hundreds there. So my number sentence for that one is going to be 300 plus zero, okay? There are no other hundreds to add, so it's 300 plus zero. So that needs to be in my three, in my hundreds column. So I'm going to 300, okay? There are no tens and there are no ones. So let's just make sure that my three is in the correct column and my zeros are in the correct column. Okay, so I've partitioned, I've added, and now I need to total. So I'm going to total as I normally would from right all the way to left. So let's have a look. One plus zero plus zero equals one. Okay. 
10 plus 80, so 1 plus 8, so 1 10 plus 8 tens equals 9 tens, okay, so it's 90. In the tens column, it's 90, but I have 8 tens and I have 1 10. Together, they make 9 tens, okay. Looking at the hundreds column, I have 300. I have three hundreds in my hundreds column, so I have three. So my answer is 391. So 387 plus four gives me 391. Okay. So we followed our steps. We wrote our numbers in the correct place value. Okay, 387 and four. We then added the digits in each place value column. So we added the ones which gave me a two digit number. So I made sure my tens number from my 11 went in my tens column. My tens added up to give me that and my hundreds added up to give me that. So I made sure that I wrote each step down that I was doing to make sure that I did not forget what I was doing. Then I added my columns up for step number three, making sure that I've added my ones, tens and hundreds. Okay, so I would like you to have a turn at doing step one, okay, a three digit number adding a ones with three grouping. I would like you to set it out like I have done here, okay? So I want you to set it out like that, and then I want you to use what we have done by writing the steps down the side. So 268 add five. Pause the video. And have a go now we will come back and I will show you how to work it out and you can check what you have done to make sure you've done it correctly. Pause the video, have a go. Okay thank you for coming back and let us have a look and see how we can solve this number sentence. So we have 268 plus 5. We've written our digits in the correct place value column. We have 2 in our hundreds, 6 in our tens, and eight in our ones, and we are adding five. Okay, now we need to add. So my first number sentence that I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add my ones. So I have eight ones plus five ones. Okay, so I know that eight add five equals 13. If you're not sure, you can use your fingers. So put eight in your head, five fingers up, and count on from eight. So eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 13 is made up of 10 and 3. Okay, so my 10 needs to go in my 10s column and my 3 needs to go in my 1s column. Okay, I have 13. Now I'm going to jump to my next line because the next thing I need to do is I need to add my 10s. Okay, so I only have a six there. I have six tens and I have no other tens to add. So I'm going to do 60, add zero. Okay, so 60, add zero. 60, add zero is 60. So I've done my ones, done my tens. Now I need to do my hundreds. I have one. Lots of, I have 200 there. I have no other hundreds. So my number sentence for that one on my next line is going to be 200 add zero. 200 add zero is going to be 200. I'm not adding anything to my hundreds. Okay, so can you see that I've added my hundreds, my tens and my ones, but every time I've added, I've made sure that my tens are in the same place value. My ones are in a column and my hundreds are in a column. Okay, so I've kept all my tens together, all my ones together, and my hundreds together. Okay, so let's get back to our adding. Now we have need to do step three. We've done step one, we've done step two, now we need to do step three. We need to total our answers. So let's start with our ones again. Three at zero at zero equals three. One plus six, so one ten plus six tens equals seven, okay? So six plus one is seven, and our hundreds, we only have two in our hundreds, so we have two hundreds, so our answer is 273, okay? So our answer is 273. Hopefully you got that answer. 
If not, pause the video, go back and work through the steps systematically. So do your ones, your tens, your hundreds. Have another go. Remember, you need to add very carefully. Add your numbers, add your digits slowly. Okay, you can use your fingers, you can use counters, you can use other manipulatives to help you. So if you did get the correct answer, really well done. We're going to move on to step two. If you didn't, pause the video, go back over the steps and have another go. Okay, let's look at step two. Now, in step two, we are adding a multiple of 10. So our tens are going to be regrouping. So our ones regrouped last time, but this time it's going to be our tens. So we're going to have too many tens for our tens column, and they are going to have to move over. Some of them are going to have to move over to the hundreds column. Okay. So let's see how we do this. Our steps are exactly the same as they were before. Okay. We need to write our digits in the correct place value column. So let's do that step first. We have 373. We've written them in the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. We have 373. Three. Okay. We are adding 40. So we are adding four tens, and there are no ones to add. So we're adding four in the tens column and no ones. Okay. So we've done step one. Step two says we need to add the digits in each place value column. So we always start with our ones. I'm going to start with my ones first. So in my ones, I can see I have a three and I need to add a zero. Okay, so three plus zero, I've got three. I'm not adding anything to my three, so my answer is going to be three. Okay, now I'm not going to write next to my three because I will just get confused. So I'm going to write underneath the next line. I'm going to do the tens next, so the tens start on a new line. So I have seven tens plus four tens, so I have 70 plus 40. Okay, I know that seven plus four equals 11, so 70 plus 40 is going to equal 110. Okay, now I need to be careful because I'm writing my digits over the three place value columns. So I need to make sure when I write 110 that my one for my 100 is in my hundreds column, my 10 for my 110 needs to be my tens column, and I need to put a zero in my ones column. So I have 110. So I've done my ones, done my tens, now I need to do my hundreds. So we have 300, add, I have no other hundreds to add, so I'm going to add zero. Okay, so 300 add zero equals 300. Remembering to make sure that my digits are all in the correct place value column. So let's just move it up so that's all in line. There we go. Now, I need to draw my line to show that I'm finished adding my digits and I can move on to step three. I need to total my answer. This line here means I need to total my answer. So as always, we're going to start in the ones column first. We always start on the right hand side. So three ones, add no ones, add no ones gives me three. One ten, add no other tens gives me one. My tens column. Okay. One hundred plus three hundred equals four hundred. Okay, because I know one plus three equals four. 10 plus 30 equals 40, okay, and 100 plus 300 equals 400, okay. So let's make sure all my digits are in line. So my answer to 373 is 413 when I add 40 to 373. So can you see there that I re had to regroup my tens, okay? I had too many tens, so I had to make sure that I put the hundred in the hundreds column, okay? So that I added, when I added the last section, I added my hundreds together, my tens together, and my ones together. I would like you to pause the video now and have a go at this number sentence, okay? 381 add 30, okay? So you're gonna do exactly the same as we did before, you're going to write your digits in the correct place value column. You're going to add each digit in the place value column. So you're going to write down the side here, one plus something. 
80 plus 30, 300 plus zero, okay? Then you're gonna total them all up at the end and come up with the total answer. So pause the video now, and when you come back, we will go through the answers to check that you have them correct. Okay, welcome back. Let's have a look at how we solve this number sentence. So we partitioned our numbers, okay? Now we need to add each place of value separately. So I'm gonna start with my one. I'm just gonna write a little cheat sheet for myself here so I know what I'm doing. So we'll have one in my ones column plus zero. So one plus zero is one. Absolutely right. So let's put one in my value column there. Okay, so because I'm finished my ones, I now need to jump to my next line so I can do my tens. So I have eight tens. So eight tens I know is 80, okay, plus three tens. Three tens I know is 30. So 80 plus 30. Hmm, that's quite a big number. Okay, let's start like this. 8 plus 3. I know 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is ele um, 11. Okay, if you're not sure, you can count on your fingers. So put 8 in your head, add 3 on. 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so if 8 and 3 is 11, 80 plus 30 is going to equal 110. Okay. So if 80 and 30 is 110, that means I have too many digits in my tens column. So I need to make sure that I make this hundred here goes into my hundreds column when I write my answer. So 110. So I'm going to make sure, working very carefully when I write that my digits are in the correct place of value column. So 80 plus 30, I know is 110. Okay. So I need to make sure that my hundreds are in the hundreds column, my tens are underneath each other, and my ones are underneath each other. So my one is a little bit off there. So I'm just gonna make sure it's in the right place. Excellent, well done, there we go. So we've done our ones, We've done our tens. We now need to do our hundreds. So jump down to the next line. Let us add our hundreds. So I can see that I have 300 and I have no other hundreds to add. So it's 300 add zero. Okay, so 300 add zero is going to be, yep, absolutely right, 300. And I need to make sure that my zeros and my hundreds are all in the correct place. Okay. Now we can't leave our answer like this because it is too many parts and it is too messy and nobody will understand what we are doing. So we need to make sure that we do our last step, which is adding them all together to give us one um, three digit number. Okay, so we're starting with our ones. One plus zero plus zero equals one. Excellent job. Okay, one ten, add no other tens gives us one ten. So we still only have one ten in that column. Let's add our hundreds now. So 100 plus 300. Well, I know that one plus one and three is four. So that means I must have four hundreds, okay? Because it's in my four, in my hundreds column. So my answer to 381 plus 30 is 411. And I did that because I regrouped my tens to give me the extra hundred. Okay. So if you got that correct, Excellent job. I would like you to move on to the next step. If you didn't get that correct, pause the video, go back and have a look at the steps again and have another go at practicing, maybe with a different multiple of 10. Okay, let's move on to step three. So step three is asking you to regroup your tens again. Okay, but we are using three digit numbers and two digit numbers. We are gonna to have to add our ones and we're gonna to have to add our tens and we might need to do some regrouping. Okay, so my number sentence is 321 add 93. So my word problem that I'm gonna use is 321 add 93. So on Wednesday, 321 people watched the football match. On Thursday, 93 more people watched the football match. So I know the word more 
means I need to add. So more means it's getting bigger. The more people are watching. So that means I need to add more people to the first amount of people that watched. Okay. So 93 more people watched the football match. Hmm, total, total is another word that tells me I need to add. So what is the total? How many people watched the match? So how many people watched the match all together? Okay, so I'm going to have to write my number sentence and then work out my column method. So let me just take this off. Put it on this side. Oh, never mind. Let's just move this down. Let's move this down so we can do our column method because this is for later. Okay, so let's do our column method. So our steps. Let's get our steps so we know what we are doing. Let's put our steps over here. Let's see, we've written our word problem and now we need to do our steps. So we need to write down our digits in the correct place value column. So we have 321. Let's take that underline off because that's a little bit silly. 321, okay? And we need to add, well, oh, the underline is still there. Let's take that off. We need to add, 93 more. So I'm going to add nine in my tens and three in my ones. Excellent job. Okay, now I need to have a look at this. So my first step is adding my one. So I have one plus three. One plus three equals four. I know that. So I'm going to put four in my ones column. Okay. My next step then is to add my tens. So I've got 20 and 90. Okay, so I know that 2 plus 9 equals 11. Okay, so if 2 plus 9 equals 11, then 20 plus 19 must equal 110. Okay, so we need to be, remember when we have got a tens number, when we're adding our tens and they go into the hundreds column, we need to make sure that we're writing the numbers correctly in the correct place value column. So if it's 110, we need to make sure that that hundred digit is in the hundreds place value column. Okay, it's not in the tens column, it's in the place value of 100. Okay, now my last one is adding my hundreds. So I've done my tens, done my ones, I need to do my hundreds. I'm going to jump to the next line, I'm going to do my hundreds. I only have one um, digit in my hundreds and that digit is three, so that's 300, add nothing. Okay, I've got no other hundreds to add. So 300 add nothing equals 300. Now I need to make sure that my digits are in the correct place value. So making sure I move that across three. Oh, three. No tens, no ones. And my zero there is slightly off, sent off the place, so I need to make sure I correct it. Okay, let's just move this down. We don't need that yet. Okay. So, let us total these columns all together. Whoops, want a line. That. <laughs> we want a line. Oh dear. There we go. Okay. So let's add our ones together. So four at zero at zero is four. Okay. One plus one ten, as you know, other tens is one ten. Making sure that I keep my digit in the correct place value. So let's move that one over slightly. Okay, bring it up and move it over. Excellent. Okay. Three plus one, one plus three is four. I know it's hundreds because it's in the hundreds column. Okay. Just making sure my digits are nice and straight and in the correct place value column. So now I can answer my question. How many people went to watch the football match? 414. So I can write my answer in here. Let us move these steps to success down. Don't need them anymore. 
we can say 414 people watched. Okay, so all we're doing is we're writing a number sentence, uh, a word problem for our number sentence, and then we are going to work it out in column method. Okay, using the steps we've used all week to help us. Okay, so I'd like you to have a go with these digits, these number sentences here. So you need to write some word problems for these numbers here. Okay, 137 plus 81. You could have 137 red cars parked in a parking garage and then another 81 cars joined. How many cars were in the parking garage? You could have 265 people went to watch um, the film Nemo. The next day, 54 people watched Nemo. How many people watched Nemo all together? You could decide to use something like a florist sold 178 flowers on Monday and 41 flowers on Tuesday. How many flowers did she sell all together? Okay, you could use absolutely anything you would like to use. You could use cakes, maybe um, you made 165 cupcakes and then the next day you made 52 cupcakes. How many cupcakes did you make all together? Maybe you ate the cupcakes or you took them to school to share with your friends. Okay, so it's up to you what you do for your word sentences, your, your word problems, but I would like you to use these digits because it means that you are practicing your regrouping of your tens. Okay, and I think that requires a little bit more practice. Really well done, everybody. Good job, and we'll see you again soon.